Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. Today I will show you how you can make this beautiful bottle bag here. We will work with t-shirt yarn, one ball, 100 meter in length. Then you will need D-rings to fix the bag chain. And I decorated the bag with a little yeah, chain at the top. This is optional, of course. And I work with a four and a half millimeter crocheting hook. We start with a magic ring of six normal stitches, single crochet. First one doesn't count. So this is the first one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now you close the ring by pulling on the loose end. In the next row, we double all the stitches. That means we make one and two single crochet in every stitch. That was the second one. And now one and two in the next stitch. And again one and two. And you go on like this until the end of the row. The magic ring should consist of 12 stitches now. And in the next row, we will make one single crochet and one double crochet in turn. So this is the first one, which is a single crochet. And I will use the loose yarn end as a stitch marker to mark the first stitch of the row now. Oops. And the next stitch will be doubled. So this is the first one. second one. Now we do a single crochet again. And again a double crochet. And you go on like this until the end of the row. Now you should have 18 stitches and in the next row we will make two single crochet and then one double crochet. So again this is the first one. I will mark it with a with a loose yarn end. Then the second one. Single crochet again. And in the next stitch, we will make a double crochet. One and two. And again, two single crochet. And 
double crochet. In order to increase the bottom, you will now always add one single crochet before you make a double crochet. So the next row is three single crochet, one double crochet, then four single crochet, one double crochet, and then five single crochet, one double crochet, and so on. The easiest way to see if the bottom has the right size is to just place the bottle on it. Till the end. The bottom should be slightly bigger than the bottle. Like this. And then the easiest way is to just go on with single crochet below these loops on the back side. So you will of course see where we change the pattern. Um, so the perfect way would be to cut the thread, sew it in and then start over again. But I decided to um, make the easiest way here. So we will go on with single crochet below these little loops here. And we'll do that for the whole row. Little close up. So we change from the horizontal pattern to the vertical pattern. At the end of the row, the back should look like this now. And now we go on with one row of normal single crochet. Like this. In order to start the pattern, we will now poke in in the second stitch from the hook and then in the first stitch of the first row and pull the thread through and close the stitch. Then again, the second stitch of the, of the second row, the first stitch of the first row and close the stitch and again second of the second row first of the first row counted from the hook and close in this way these little twisted threads will appear so second of the second row first of the first row and close and again second of the second row first of the first row counted from the hook and then close and so on in the second pattern row it's basically the very same you poke in in the second stitch 
from the hook of the current row and then in the first stitch from the hook in the last row like this so second from the hook first from from the hook pull through and close and again second one then first one it's always right between the twisted threads of the previous row and close and you can see the pattern you go on like this until the bag reaches the height that you, that you need then you pull the thread through and we sew it in like this pull it through below the next stitch and then bring it back to the middle of the last stitch like this and you will have a slight height difference here anyway so which you can cover for example by fixing the d-ring here or you can use the chain to cover it a little and then place the d-ring a little lower like this If you would like to cover this little situation here a little bit, you can, for example, use a little part of the of the thread and pull it through the first and last stitch like this. and then bring the threads to the inside and sew them in or make a knob so it is it is at least but again i hope you like your new bag and if you like the tutorial please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel if you have any questions just write a comment